This is problem number 16 from the June 2015 Algebra Regents exam. Uh, Beverly did a study this past spring using data she collected from the cafeteria. She uh, recorded data weekly for ice cream sales and soda sales. We can see the cans of soda sold along here and the ice cream bar sold <coughs> down here. Beverly found the line of best fit and the correlation coefficient. We can see it's 0.96 um, as shown in the diagram below. Given this information, which statement or statements can correctly be concluded? Let's take a look at what we've got here. The first one, eating more ice cream causes a person to become thirsty. So we can see in the data here that it, it is true that um, as more ice cream bars are being sold, more cans of soda are being sold. We can see that. They're both increasing at a similar rate. But that doesn't necessarily mean that people um, eating ice cream causes them to become thirsty. I mean, they could be eating... I don't know, a sandwich that could be causing them to be thirsty. They could be coming, they could become thirsty because they haven't been drinking water. There's so many other reasons that causes someone to become thirsty. So there's no way that we can conclude that uh, just based on this graph. Uh, the next one, drinking more soda causes a person to become hungry. Well, that's just the exact opposite of the previous example. Um, while we can see that as more people drink as more people buy cans of soda, more people are buying um, ice cream. But again, that doesn't mean they're related. Um, in a similar example as before, you know, what causes a person to become hungry is them not eating <laughs> over a period of time. So drinking, most, drinking pop doesn't make someone hungry. That doesn't make sense. Um, and so that only leaves us with option number three. There's a strong correlation between ice cream sales and soda sales. And we know that's true because look at the correlation coefficient. It's 0.96. And when it's that close to positive 1, uh, that means there is a strong correlation. And so the correct answer is indeed uh, 3 only, option number 2. That's all for this video. Thanks for visiting JD's Regents Preparation.